if you saw my last video, you saw that I received Sailor Moon R, the Viz, the new Viz dub for the original Sailor Moon. So this got me thinking, you know what? I have not watched all 200 episodes of Sailor Moon, original Sailor Moon, in years. So I spent this last week, this holiday week, totally binging watching all 200 episodes with the movies in order. And I started with the Viz dub of the original for, for season one and season two. And then I realized something while watching these. <laughs> I said, you know what? It's not feeling as nostalgic for me. So on season three, I switched back to the DVDs that I have of all the original uh, Sailor Moon seasons. And I went back to season three of the original dub of original Sailor Moon. And I started watching from there of the original dub of original Sailor Moon. And you know what I figured out? I actually prefer the original dub voices of original Sailor Moon over the Viz dub. <laughs> <laughs> um, mainly because the new dub does not sound, it, it just for me, it doesn't sound as, it's, it's not as nostalgic for me. Although I will say I do still really, really love Sailor Pluto's voice and the, um, the Viz dub. And I will say this. I'm totally cool with those voices of the Viz dub on the new SMC. However, for me personally, the original dub of Original Sailor Moon is my favorite. This was a kind of an interesting experiment for me. <laughs> now that I have the total comparison. And speaking of comparisons, regardless of new voice or old, I still can't stand Rini on on Original Sailor Moon. She's such a brat. Even with the new Viz dub voice, like on the original Sailor Moon, I still cannot stand her. <laughs> but she's fine in SMC. <laughs> and let's face it, on the original dub of Sailor Moon, oh my god, Diana is so adorable, right? <laughs> Now, maybe this is because I did it in like five days watching all 200 episodes. I have to say something else I realized is when I notice people say they miss character development in SMC. After watching all 200 episodes of original Sailor Moon, I kind of feel, and this is just my personal opinion, that there's maybe perhaps too much character development in, OS, in OSM. Now this is just, you know, my opinion. <laughs> and honestly, I feel like when you take OSM and SMC for these separate entities that they are, I honestly feel, once again, I'm backing up my original opinion, I honestly feel that there really is enough character development in OSM. I, I'm sorry, SMC, SMC, Crystal. I personally do feel that way. And again, that's just my opinion. Although I will say, <laughs> I still can't decide who has cornier speeches, Tuxedo Mask or Moonlight Night. <laughs> Something I was thinking about while watching season four is that I love Pegasus. Who doesn't? He's awesome. And so looking forward to seeing what SMC is going to do with season four. I'm super, it got me really hyped up, even more so for season four on SMC. And I'm very interested to see who they get to do Nel Queen Nell Helena's voice on SMC because I personally love her voice on a, on the dub voice on original S uh, OSM. So it'd be very interesting to see who they get because I love her voice on original Sailor Moon's original dub. Although I will say it, it strikes me as funny when Zirconia is begging his queen to spare him. And I love that part when Sailor Moon's like, you talking to me? Because I prefer Neo Queen Serenity. I was like, yay. <laughs> now, Stars is really hard for me to get through. Uh, Stars has always kind of been the thorn in my side with the original Sailor Moon. I mean, because outside of like maybe the first few episodes and the first few last episodes, it's mostly feels like filler to me. 
And it also feels this way because, I'm sorry guys, I'm just going to say it, I am not Team Seiya. I have never dug that whole relationship. I hated that Mamo was not present in that whole ser that whole season, really, mostly. And there's some inconsistencies with uh, stars, I feel, personally for me, that kind of just really bug the hell out of me, to be quite honest. Um, and I'm and I'm going to enlighten you on those. <laughs> the first inconsistency for me, first and foremost, is when he's leaving on the plane and or he's on the plane, and of course he dies. People, people, are you seriously telling me that these two that are like connected through eons, okay, undeniably, she wouldn't know that he's dead? Are you really trying to tell me that? No, I don't buy it. Maybe she was in denial, I've heard people say that, but you know, she sure didn't, she sure looked shocked when she found out at the end of the season. But I'm gonna come back to that. One thing that as an adult now rewatching the episodes that really got me is when she goes to the airport to see him off. And I'm gonna say their American names because that's another thing I love is their American names because I love Darian and Serena. That's what I grew up with. And by the way, it's not all that bad because Serena is short for Serenity and she was Princess Serenity and will be Neo Queen Serenity in the future. So it's really not that off, you know? But I love their, their American names. And so when Serena comes to see Darian at the airport and then he says, I didn't think you were going to be here because of school. But then he gives her the ring. You know what that tells me? You were never planning to give her that ring, Mamo. Oh, see, I did it. I called him Mamo. See, I'm so confused. <laughs> but yeah, it's like you were never planning to give her that ring. Like, was it just like, oh, if she shows up, I'll give it to her? Come on now. I think what would have made Stars more interesting for me is if, Ma if uh, Darian Mamo-chan had been around to see Serena and Seiya, Seiya go after Serena, I would have liked to have seen Mamo kind of be like, hey, you know, she's my girl, you need to step off Seiya. So I, I think that would have made it more interesting for me personally, because it's just real hard for me to get through stars. It's just like stars doesn't have the same vibe as the rest of the seasons, I guess. So it's kind of like you're going along and then you come to five and it's just like, er, okay, totally like flipping it on its head here. And it's a, just a lot of filler for me. And I mean, like I said, like the last few episodes are definitely great. And the first few episodes, but everything in between is just like, ah, oh, why are we here? No. <laughs> That's just, it's hard for me to get through because this whole story of Sailor Moon is like predicated on the fact that Mamo Chan Yusagi or Darian and Serena, Prince and Dimian, Princess Serenity, Neo Queen Serenity, King and Dimian, whatever form they are in, it is predicated on the fact of their unbreakable, unshakable, unyielding connection. So for you to say she wouldn't know she's de he's dead just completely obliterates that in my mind. And, you know, I just, that's just something that bothers me about stars. And I get that it might be symbolic or, oh, she's in denial. I've heard that. But I just, I think she would know because their whole thing is that they know when the other needs the other or when something happens to the other one. So I think that's probably my most frustrating thing about stars because in a nutshell stars in my mind for most of the season until you get to the end implies or hints that their love is not absolute which completely contradicts the entire basis of this story in their love okay and then the end comes and you're like, oh, okay, warm fuzzies, that's wonderful, I'm happy again. But it's just getting to that, you know, through the 34 episodes 
to get to that point, it's just a little frustrating. I love Sailor Moon. It is my jam. You know, it is it is not just a hobby, it's a way of life. Any Moonie will tell you that because it sticks with you. It really does. But it's like, I guess, re-watching it now, it just all together as an adult and seeing it through my adult eyes, there's these things that just kind of pop out at me. And I'm just like, oh, wait a minute. But I still love it and I still love, I'm still so excited to see what they do with SMC. And as far as stars, I will say this. I will say this. I love Chibi Chibi. And she's the real hero of that story. <laughs> no, she's just adorable. Y'all have to admit that. She is the she's the way I wish Reenie would be. Because she's just so cute. <laughs> But those were my thoughts I wanted to share because I finally sat down as an adult and just went and watched all 200 of them with the movies. And it was just, it was great. It was a nostalgic trip this week, and it, but it was some interesting things that popped out at me. So I don't know. Do you have any stories of what do you see differently about Sailor Moon now that you are older? Maybe from, that you didn't see when you were a kid. I don't know. What, what are your thoughts, Moonies? Either way, thanks for being here. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a like. Feel free to subscribe. Either way, until next time.